On the 20 slides shown below, I present the original photographs of the Second World War from the German archive, which are in my collection. These photos are from my collection department, Wehrmacht on the Eastern and Western Fronts. If you like it, subscribe to my YouTube, like it, so you don't miss the new weekly presentations. If you would like to order 5 inches by 7 inches copies of these photos from the original, you can specify which photos you would like to receive. Laboratory quality. Enjoy your viewing. The Panzerfaust was a development family of single-shot man-portable anti-tank systems developed by Nazi Germany during World War II. The weapons were the first single-use light anti-tank weapons based on a preloaded disposable launch tube, a weapon configuration which is still used today, two modern examples being the AT-4 and NLAW. The Panzerfaust design consisted of a light recoilless launcher tube outfitted with a single preloaded high explosive anti tank warhead protruding from the muzzle, much like a fist, hence the name. It was an inexpensive, easy to use anti tank weapon for the common infantryman, being issued as a single unit of ammunition meant to be operated by a single soldier. Firing was done from under the arm at an upward angle as the effective firing range was barely beyond that of hand grenades. 30 to 60 meters, 98 to 197 feet, max. After use the launcher was disposed of, much like the safety pin in hand grenades. Development of the Panzerfaust started in 1942. The initial design was dubbed Faust Patroni and was smaller than the later designs. Later dubbed Panzerfaust Klein, Tank fist small, it entered service in 1943, the larger design being named Panzerfaust Gross, Tank fist big, and entering service in mid to late 1944. All types saw service with Germany until the end of the war, with the design continuing to see service outside of Germany for a number of years after the war. Zundapp was a major German motorcycle manufacturer founded in 1917 in Nuremberg by Fritz Neumeyer, together with the Friedrich Krupp AG and the machine tool manufacturer Thiel under the name Sunderundapp Aratebau. The Zundapp KS600, first released in 1938, had a 28 horsepower, 21 kilowatts, Horizontally opposed twin cylinder motor with overhead valves displacing 597 cc, 36.4 cubic inches. The KS600 was produced 21,000 and often coupled with a Stieb sidecar, the BW38, Baywagen 1938. The BW38, fitted with the B1 sidecar body, was produced between 1938 and 1941 and supplied exclusively to the Wehrmacht. While the KS600 was discontinued and eventually replaced by the purpose-built KS750, its motor was to be the only remnant to live beyond the destruction of war. When Zundapp returned to motorcycle production in the late 1940s, it chose to reuse the KS600's motor to power the KS601 with few modifications. Zundapp also made aircraft engines including the 92092, which was used in light aircraft, including the Braunschweig LF-1 Zionkönig, 1942, ab initio trainer aircraft. Following World War II, Zundapp expanded into the microcar, moped and scooter markets. The company collapsed in 1984.
The STG-44, abbreviation of Sturmgewehr 44, Assault Rifle 44, is a German assault rifle developed during World War II by Hugo Schmeiser. It is also known by its early designations as the MP-43 and MP-44, Machine and Pistola 43 and 44. The STG-44 was an improvement of an earlier design, the Maschinen Karabiner 42H. The STG-44 was the first successful assault rifle, with features including an intermediate cartridge, controllable automatic fire, a more compact design than a battle rifle with a higher rate of fire, and being designed primarily for hitting targets within a few hundred meters. Other rifles at the time were designed to hit targets of over a thousand meters, but this was found to be in excess of the range in which most enemy engagements actually took place. The STG-44 fulfilled its role effectively, particularly on the Eastern Front, offering a greatly increased volume of fire compared to standard infantry rifles. The STG largely influenced the Soviet AK-47, introduced two years after the war concluded. The STG's influence can still be seen in modern assault rifles, which, after World War II, became the global standard for infantry rifles. Trap and fire at bicycles. Numerous units of the German ground forces were equipped with trap and fire at bicycles. In addition to aiding troops in their movement, they were also used to deliver mail and maintain connections between a general and his troops, and for other purposes. The M42 trap and fire ad was a military bicycle also issued to the Heer and Waffen SS during World War II. Special equipment for military use was the steering bar, the saddle, the toolbox, which could be fitted with two grenades, and the porter at the back. On the steering bar were holders mounted for holding a variety of items, such as a half shelter tent, clothing, and panzer forsts. The midsection could be fitted to hold machine guns. The headlamp was made to work with dynamo and/or battery. <laughs> 